Welcome back everyone to the Ethlin server. Now in a previous episode I did say we'd have a look down here so uh, let's do exactly that. Oh, looks like somebody else wants to come and join us. Not sure where he is but uh, we won't worry about that when the time comes. Looks like uh, I'm gonna have to work for this. Um, right, um, ooh. get some torches and which way shall we well, apart from town, which way should we go? Uh, let's just staircase our way down this way. I don't know where our buddy is. Because I don't think he's out here. I think he's off uh, behind here somewhere. But we'll worry about him later. We'll worry about him later. Let's, um, let's get ourselves dug in down here. There we go. And dig down... This way. I can hear water, and I think I could see water as well. I think there's water. Yeah, there's just water coming down there. So I don't think we've got too far to go. Let's just go into the wall, like so. Here we are. Now I bought myself. Oh! Oh, that was lucky. <laughs> oh dear. Let's get a torch in here, quick, quick. Oh, I think I think I think we found our um, we think we found our friend. <laughs> oh, he's a little friend. Ow! <laughs> well, that was uh, that was more than lucky. I was about to say I just bought myself a little new toy. I bought myself two new toys actually. I bought myself a uh, oh come on, cool. he's, he's well armoured, isn't he? He's well armoured and um... <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> oh, he didn't drop anything. Oh well. Um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, is still somebody else down here? I think we need to get this lit up. I bought myself uh, two new toys, in fact. Let's get myself um, filled up. I bought myself a uh, 4G modem uh, for my phone, because I've got a rather old uh, Samsung phone, and I thought I'd splash out and buy the biggest one I could find. Oh, hello. Here he is. And I hardly use it. Oh well, <laughs> that's my dumb pan. <laughs> Go away. Uh, and secondly, I hope you've noticed. This you can notice. Oh, no, that's the I bought myself a new graphics card. Nvidia GTX 960. It's actually a palette card. And um, I've got everything on maximum now, and I don't think it makes much difference. Oh. Is that taking us back out to uh, where we've been before? There's somebody around here. There are. We interrupt normal programming to bring you this news flash. The master criminal, known as JMC Crew, deliberately lured a creeper to this spot in Ethlin Town Centre and caused it to explode, creating a significant crater and significant damage to the town centre. This criminal must be brought to justice. A reward will be offered. We will keep you informed. A lot of mobs around here somewhere. Oh no. Oh, ah, now. Ooh. Lots of lava. And I think there are lots of guys behind this wall. Are they? They're definitely on the right. Oh, minecart. Iron. Oh, this is. Oh, and I've been going all around the other place and it's boring. Oh dear, and I could have been going around here. Whoa! So, where are these guys? Oh, look. Come. <gasps> Diamond! Oh! <laughs> and he's got a guard. <laughs> That's my first diamond! And it's right above lava and it's with. A mob over it. Oh no! <laughs> oh, it's bringing a tear to my eye. <laughs> oh look, there they are. Go on, push him, push him, push him. Go on! Go on! Oh god, yes! <laughs> look at them all! Oh, there must be a spawner behind me. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. How am I going to get there? <laughs> Oh, this is like, oh, I'm crying. Oh, it's just, oh, look. Oh, look, it's even hanging over the lava. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, dear. At least I'm going to be able to get there. Oh, maybe not. 
Oh, maybe not. Right, where have I got to get to? Um, uh, uh, let's just light this up. Oh dear, I wasn't expecting to spend very long down here. <laughs> oh, it, oh. Well, I wasn't, maybe I'm not going to be spending much time down here. Oh wow, this is so funny. <laughs> right, so, um, oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Um, what level is it at? What level? Uh, let's go over this way. Um, back over here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, it's gone too far. Gone too far. There it is. Right. It's actually not that far below current level. And it's sort of kind of in here. So let's go through here. Oh, dear. The other thing that brought a tear to my eye is I watched the um, Force Awakens trailer at number two. And that really did. It's just down there. Um, not the trailer. Oh, well. Oh. No, 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 no. No, you're not going to get me. Down. Yeah, he didn't have the Force. Oh, I saw another one. There he is. Oh, no, this is bad. Yes, I watched the Force Awakens trailer. And, um... Ow! And that brought tears to my eyes as well. Um, and I'm a bit worried. I don't know if you're a bit worried. About halfway through the trailer, someone gives Princess Leia, you assume it's Princess Leia, I'm not going to have enough torches, uh, a lightsaber. And I'm worried that that might be uh, Luke's lightsaber. I don't think anybody can get up here. So let's just put a last torch here. Yes, yeah, so I'm worried that that's Luke's lightsaber. Uh, where has he gone? Uh, where is he? Oh, where's that? Um, I don't know. <laughs> oh dear, I am going to make a hell of a mess of this. Yeah, so I am worried that's Luke's lightsaber. Should we just put a block up here? Uh, nobody can get in. Yes, I am worried that's Luke's lightsaber. And he's died. How did he die? I think I'm going to notice when I get to the diamond block. It's not that one. It's not this one. There it is. Right. Okay, I've got to be really careful. Yes, yeah, so I'm worried that that's Luke's lightsaber. And he's died. Oh, oh. Oh, I think that was a block just going in the lava. Uh, and so how did he die? Did he indeed die? Because my theory is that, uh, is it Ray uh, has scavenged the lightsaber from somewhere? Because that's her job. She's found it, and uh, she gets into the story, apart from meeting Finn, uh, she gets into the story somehow by um, bringing Luke's lightsaber to Princess Leia. Oh, there it is. oh no, it's only one. It's only one. Oh, we've got to be so careful. Um, and that's my concern, that uh, Luke has died. I'd rather concentrate on Star Wars, actually. <laughs> uh, yes, so that is my concern, that Luke has died. And that's how they get him out of the story. Well, to be fair, to be brutally honest, I do think the new story has to lose the new characters. Um, I don't want it to. I am of the age when I saw the first four, five, and six episodes, just to make it absolutely clear, the first time around. And... It will be very sad to see them go, but I think it does have to happen. A bit like Anakin there. <laughs> oh dear, I just I just don't want to. I just don't want to. Should we take a screenshot? Just to prove we failed. Oh, careful. Uh, just to prove it. Um, I don't want them to, but I think the story does have to move on. I do think it has to happen. Just really digging around here because I don't want to do it. Um, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh no, I don't want someone to come in and ruin it for me. Go on, in you go. Yeah, right. Okay. Hold your breath, everyone. Here it goes. Diamonds! Take a screenshot of where we are. To remember the place. 
I'm going to die. Oh, dear. I am getting out of here. <laughs> I am getting out of here and I am going home. So, yes, I think we definitely uh, do need the story to move forward. And moving forward means I'm even going to leave all of that behind because I have got a diamond and I am getting out of here. I'm leaving you behind down there. Someone, uh, There must be a mob spawner back there. Uh, a zombie spawner. That could be really cool. Now I've got to find my way up. Um, so we're going to go up this way. Yeah, so they do have to get rid of the old characters. You know, the story does have to move on. The story definitely has to... We've got to get up there. The story definitely has to move on. And my theory, or be, be, I say my theory, it would be nice. It would be nice if right at the end of the, uh, oh, got another torch. Could have to put that right up there for you lot. Um, my theory goes that wouldn't it be? Oh no, wrong tool. Wouldn't it be good if um, at the end, at the end of the trailer, we have um, Han Solo and Chewie? Go on. We have Han Solo and Chewie uh, saying they're home, but they're home. In what sense? Because, uh, did you notice they have their weapons drawn? And I'm wondering... Uh, let's see, which way are we going? I'm wondering whether they will be... Uh, did we come down... I don't know. Did we come down over there? don't know. Uh, they will be coming back in the sense of a sort of Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid moment. And if you don't know that, at the end of the movie, they uh, charge out into a... Uh, Oh, I thought that was a mob for a moment. You're not having my diamond. Uh, they charge out into a blaze of gunfire. And I'm wondering if that is the way that Han Solo and Chewie are going to leave the story. In a sort of blaze of gunfire moment. Oh, did I just come up the wrong way? I did, didn't I? Oh, rats. <laughs> uh, well, we'll do a better job of this later. Let us... Um, let us... Uh, how can we do this? Oh, heck. Let's just... Um, just get out of here. <laughs> oh no, that's not enough. Yeah, so whether they go out in a blaze of gunfire moment. And you don't know whether they live or die. I mean, they just leave the story at that point, heroically charging off into the uh, into the light. <whistles> Safe. Uh, heroically charging off into the light. And that's the last you see of them. And that would be okay. That would be okay by me. Let's take, uh, let's take the iron. That will be okay by me. Let's take all of this stuff because we are going home. We are taking this and our emerald back to base where it is going to be safe. What else we take? We take that, that, that. Take lots of string, lots of wool, bone, signs, feathers. Oh, flint. Yeah, we oh, heck, let's take it all. What can we get in? Get some rotten flesh. Oh, we, we don't need the rotten flesh. Um, where did I put the rotten flesh? There it is. Don't need rotten flesh. Uh, redstone, we haven't got enough of it. Oh, we'll take one egg. <laughs> uh, we'll come back for everything else. Um, yeah, so that would be um, that would be okay. I wouldn't mind that too much. Um, if that's how they uh, if that's how they left in a blaze of glory up here, um, that would be okay. Uh, Luke, I wouldn't mind if he left the story a bit like Obi Wan Kenobi. You know, we've had quite a lot of these stories sort of kind of repeating themselves. Um, and if, you know, uh, he left uh, in the same way as Obi-Wan Kenobi, heroically uh, defeating some enemy, that would be okay by me. Oh, I'm not going out on that. <laughs> not that it's raining, I'm not going out when it's dark. <laughs> so that would be okay by me, but I just wonder how they're going to get, I say get rid of, how um, Princess Leia is going to lead the story. That would be a thing. You, you know, what does she do? She just, um, she just sort of gets bogged down in bureaucracy. Don't know. Hmm. A bit like the trailer. We're going to have to wait and see. We are going to have to wait and see. But cross fingers, um, Luke merges with the Force and becomes a Force ghost and then can live forever. That would be brilliant. But with that thought in mind, I'd like to thank you for watching this Ethelin Server exp <laughs> episode. And I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.